What's up guys, my name is Bubbleplay, welcome to another episode of Hamilton Wildcats Be A GM series. Finally, finally I'm recording this episode. It has been exactly a week, I think. I think I released the previous one in the last Saturday exactly, and I feel really bad about it. Funny thing, I was absent not because of the Christmas, we don't even celebrate Christmas in December, we celebrate it in January, and it's not that big of a deal. Here in Russia, our big family holiday is New Year's actually. It might sound weird to you, but yeah, it's basically the same as Christmas for you European and North American fellows, but we do it on New Year's, and Christmas is more like a religious holiday. You gotta go to church and if you want to, and do some other stuff. Yeah, I was absent because of my work. Too much to do in the last uh, weeks of the year. I, I did not really have enough time to sleep even. So I hope you will forgive me. My schedule is one video a day and when I'm not uh, keeping up with it I feel really bad and I am sorry for that because this is my goal. One video a day, every day, well maybe one day off a week, probably not. I don't like my uh, day offs and I really miss making videos. Yeah, sorry about blabbering and I have this bad habit of talking in the beginning of the video without doing anything and I think it's really annoying uh, for you guys. I, I hope you will forgive me. So, you see the rules of this series, I will not be talking about them. If you have any questions, you should check out the first and the second episodes of this series where I explain all the rules. And here is the results of our year. 21 uh, wins and 9 overtime and shootout losses. So, it brings us 6.375 million of extra budget for a year there. This is the bonus that our team owners give us to our salary cap uh, budget. Uh, the question is, the, the problem that I'm having right now, by the way, we can probably go to the end of the year. Our AHL team, by the way, they're not doing that well. Uh, they have a losing record. We don't really have any prospects yet in our system so we can just go to the yeah let's go to the first of June I guess we will figure it out I will remember to look at the salary cap minimum when it's announced and kinda of remembering it if you have uh, an idea about uh, how it changes maybe it changes uh, the same way every franchise, I mean, it's not like a random thing, so if you know those numbers for years uh, like two, year three, year four, what is the salary cap minimum? If you know that, please leave a comment, it will help me a lot to know that. And uh, right now we will have to kind of improvise. The idea, because this is kind of new to us, and uh, I don't know how good of a team you can build on salary cap minimum, I will try to hold on to the you know the minimum allowed. I will try to save as much money as possible. I will try to hit uh, the cap minimum exactly, and all this extra bonus is not too much. It's like six point three million. It's well, it's one big big signing, but I don't plan on big free agent signings yet. And this will be our safety net kind of if we will. I don't know if we will mistake or if we will make a mistake or something. So we will see. I am not sweating about budget too much. I think that budget will not be an issue for uh, at least a couple of seasons. Budget and the number of this additional budget will be a big deal uh, when we will be competitive. And we are still pretty far away from being a competitive team. We're a building team and Basically, what we need to do, yeah, Barz Barzell. Uh, here we have McDavid, and in QMJHL, any good forwards? I guess we should uh, scout QMJHL. Yeah, let's let's do it. I want a good forwards. We we need everyone. I don't know how how much time we will need before we will be competitive. Maybe it will not be two years. Well, it definitely will not be two years. It m might take us. You know, closer to maybe five years, and we have to kind of manage before that. We kind of need to 
maybe even this first wave of prospects we will be able to snag at least a couple of good prospects probably even maybe three or four and maybe some of them will not make it to our you know uh, not the succeeding uh, to our successful team which we will build we will have to get rid of them because by the time that uh, we will be competitive they will want a lot of money and we will need to trade them so probably if we will be we probably will get a first overall pick and we will probably get McDavid and I think that he will be this franchise player that we will be able to keep uh, even you know later so if even if he will want he will not want like nine million probably he will want something around six after his three years the oil Hubert look at him he jumped to 86 he probably will want uh, a lot of money and I think market uh, will be hot for him and I want to sign him I know it's some of you might think that this is cheesy but well he is a fair game it's you know nothing bad yeah Chicago won uh, Stanley Cup yeah we'll show you playoff tree probably if I will have a chance uh, yet we will check the awards we will check the retirements and uh, I don't know I want to check this prospects game results because you can see actual players overalls there and I want to see those we will see we will see I think oh yeah 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 here it is it's, it's the important thing and we need to remember that salary cap minimum is basically 54 million so this is our budget 54 plus well 60.3 this is our budget I'm still not too good with the, those menus uh, prospects game yeah player stats we will look 59 no 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 70 plus this is what we need uh, Konechny is 63 I would not mind uh, grabbing Konechny but he probably and Barzell we know they have potential but maybe like LeMay maybe nobody like with crazy overalls Sergei Zvorovsky yeah this actually makes sense as a uh, Russian last name I would say and goalies yeah, what, what? no 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 yeah goalies let's see oh Siddler Siddler looks like someone who might be decent 68 overall this is this is decent and uh, Tyson Bailey yeah he is good Cob no 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 Dermont Karstelov Connor McDavid yeah 74 this is I remember his overall and he is the biggest uh, piece on this draft of course okay yeah now nobody really catching I uh, hear and whistle yeah Jackson whistle I don't know how, uh, how good he's listed but he's 71 overall and maybe he is someone we might want we remember our salary cap and what else do we need to check yeah we, we don't need to check anything here let's see uh, I think yeah, yeah yeah the retirements will be right here and we need to see who we lost and it's not that big of a deal but we don't really lo lost too many people uh, Brashear retired Ortmeier Mink and that's it basically Whitney is still around I think okay and uh, goalies 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 no retired goalies okay yeah that, that's a little bit weird but yeah, I guess that's fine okay let's continue I hope I'm not forgetting anything I, actually I'm happy Huberto uh, 86 overall it was his mid-season growth he dropped back to 84 right now and I think it's great I don't think I want to sign anybody else from Florida uh, only Huberto I think that him and McDavid will be like the perfect pieces for our team okay mm, 
let's go into the draft. It's it's pretty simple. I don't really have any strategy. I don't think that we need that much of a strategy. And god damn it, look at that. We lost first overall pick in the lottery. God damn it. New Jersey will grab McDavid probably. Oh, this is disappointing. Well, second overall pick, this is nice. It means that we will have second overall pick in the second round as well. By the way, no, I think we will have first overall pick in the second round, and uh, this is a good news. It's basically another first round pick, and we can still get some decent prospect. I, I'm not really have that much of an experience with uh, drafting with prospects names in this game. Yeah, I think we can uh, shut down phones. I don't want to make any deals. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, of course, of course they grab McDavid, and uh, who we need to choose? Uh, Pylon is nice, but Barzell, Belos, I I saw Pylon being like uh, four and a half. I think we need no. They both are younger, both young, center defenseman. And goalies, what a goalies. Yeah, Whistle is his like top five. We can draft goalie. He's 71 overall. He is technically probably one of the best players uh, overall wise uh, on this draft. And getting a good goalie prospect would mean a lot. Of course, I would, I would have picked McDavid. Oh, he's 20 years old, so even if we will take like five years, he will be... Yeah, that's a tough call. On the one hand, you have a player like Barzell. Are there any good goalies in the first round? Yeah, a lot of goalies, actually. So probably we'll be able to get like decent goalie prospect. And oh, forward prospects... I'm not really comfortable with uh, getting Pylon. Well, on the other hand, he might be a great pick. Uh, I'm kind of worried about Barzell. I saw him being like super good and, well, he... I still kind of want to grab uh, uh, Huberto. So our first line center position is basically taken in some way. So, I don't know, maybe we should uh, grab Pylon. He looks solid, actually. Uh, this is tough. This is tough. Well, I guess this is... Uh, or Barzell. Barzell, Barzell, or Pylon. Barzell or Pylon. Ah, uh, you know what? Yeah, it's taking too long. Yeah, Brazil. Pylon is going third, whistle fourth. That's another goalie, another goalie, another goalie, I think. Yeah, a lot of goalies are going. Uh, Melosh. Yeah, I hope I, I was not wrong about Brazil. Now I'm like, have no idea what to do. I probably will pick up. We, we don't want to pick up forward. Ruslan Bobrovsky, <laughs> he's a defender, defensive defenseman. This is not uh, what I want. And this is, yeah, Lithuania. Now maybe it's time to get a goalie. I think that we might get lucky, might not actually, like this Tess Berman. I heard something about him, I'm not really sure. He's listed as the first slash second round, and this might mean, mean something good, might not. Uh, Mara Kruzicka, Tui forward, no, no, no. Grinder, no, I don't want Grinder, to be honest. And those guys, Martin, you know what? Yeah, we need kind of, we kind of need goalies, and Berman looks like, uh, looks like the best goalie prospect there is, so I will draft him. And I hope you will not be too mad about this. I, if I'm making like super uh, bad calls here, if you know, actually, some of those players usually get like like four and a half green star potential, and I'm just not aware about it. So 
I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I don't want any moves. And I'm sorry about, I think this episode is getting pretty long. I guess we will stop at the draft and then we will uh, have all the signings in the next episode. We will see all the situation and then we will make a decision. So now I would not mind getting a defenseman or Sidorov, Nixi Sarava, two way forward. Uh, yeah, I like him. He's a big guy, two way defender. Uh, another Eggblad, Stu Eggblad, that's fine. Or we can, t no, 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 Marner. I remember him from New uh, Next Gen, and he was pretty good there. Uh, two way forwards. Hey, you know what? I want to take Cox. I like his last name, and um, yeah, let's go here. We have some picks, so Kostelov. Yeah, he he is looking good. Or we can get like uh, Nick Merkley. Or Nicholas Orwa. Well, he's a power forward. I don't like those. Yeah, you know what? I want to pick him up. Uh, I think. What do we know about him? Oh man, it's taking so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He might be a good sniper, and he might take a lot of time developing. And it's not that bad, to be honest, because we still need a lot of time to build this team. Uh, yeah, let's quick sim. Next round, another pick. It's good to have first uh, overall pick every round, except freaking first. Man, I'm really disappointed. I wanted to get McDavid. Yeah, let's see. I don't think that it matters too much, but I want to make. Oh, Tyson Bailey. Yeah, he is good. He's a two way forward. And I totally forgot about him. By the way, let's sort by potential and see maybe there are some gems that we need to grab. Oh, it's taking some time. Like this Dallas Valentine. He might be someone good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we probably can have those guys, but yeah, Tyson Bailey is definitely the uh, biggest piece here, and he's usually getting like super good. Mm, yeah, let's. Oh, another two picks in the fourth round as well. That's wonderful. Maybe it's time to get those players that are not listed and just sort by potential. I hope you, you understand what I'm saying. Like this guy, like Reed Gardner, playmaker, a three and a half, almost certainly. Yeah, I want to pick him up. I think, I think it might be good. And let's uh, pick up another. Maybe we need to get another goalie. We need to check if. Oh, like, or we can have this guy. He is a four star for sure. And four star is a solid, uh, solid thing. Val Dallas Valentine. I like his name. And goalies. We haven't really scouted goalies. Oh, Moody. I know him. And. I know he's go he's becoming like super good. Uh and he listed as undrafted. Uh so I probably will be able to get him in the next round. And this Valentine guy, he is listed. He might be uh taken. He's a big kid. Yeah, I will pick him and Moody in the next round. And maybe it will it will be like great decision. Let's quick sim. Yeah, we have a uh, fifth round pick as well. I'm really curious uh, how good of a player can you pick in the later rounds because I'm not used to it. The most drafting that I've done w was made in NHL 14 where it was basically no way of getting good players. Yeah, Moody is still here and I will grab him. I think I saw him in Pittsburgh and he was like four uh, and a half green star or maybe even five stars. I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, we still have 6th round pick. I think we don't have 7th round pick, but well, it's not that big of a deal. We probably will just grab uh, the highest potential player, no matter which position he is. 
like this Jordan T. Fournier, another cool name. Oh, he's a power forward. I don't want him. Let's see. Like this Mike Davis or Ryan Valentini. Who we need more? Davis. Yeah, like. Uh, Alex Overhart, Ryan Valentini. Or we can get the oh well, he's a power forward I don't I don't really like him Mason Khan another great uh, prospect looks like hmm I don't I haven't really paid attention about the positions I don't think that it's this, it matters too much at this point okay a lot of those uh, those three green stars potential so maybe we should pick up. Well, well, no, no, I don't want to pick up Fournier. Hmm. Or should we pick up, like, Valentini? Uh, Osipov, to wait defender. Khan, playmaker. You know what? Yeah, I think I want to grab this guy. I know he is the... He might be a good third liner for us. Where is he? I think... Where is he? No, 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 no. Like, Valentini. Yeah, I think I think he might be good. Three and a half stars. This this might be solid. So let's pick him up, and let's quick same. Oh no, we have seventh round pick. Only one, but still. Okay, let's continue. I'm really excited to see uh, how how good of a prospect we would have gotten. And I definitely see that this is much better than you will get in NHL 14. This looks like some you know solid prospects like this. Mike Davis. Why not pick him? I probably want to pick up defenders like this guy. Uh, uh, he is young and... Yeah, yeah. I will pick up him. I might... Well, I don't think that there is any good goalies left, to be honest. Uh, goalies, goalies, goalies. Bullion. Well, well, we have Moody, who might be good. I have a good feeling about him. And also, we have another uh, pick, uh, another goalie pick. So I think we can get this Rasmus Anderson, and he might be someone good. And yes, draft is complete. That is totally wonderful, and we can go to the resign stage. And we will not be resigning. We will kind of look at uh, you know all the stuff that we've got. We will kind of think about it. You will give me your suggestions. You will give me an ideas for challenges. Yeah, go to contract screen that our owners might give us for the next year. What it can be, mm, and yeah, stuff like that. Okay, let's see. First of all, goalies. Let's look at our goalies. Berman is for uh, Gold Star and Moody is for Red Star, so he is not that good. Maybe he was good in NHL 14, but yeah, well, he might be decent, but not nothing to write home about, basically. Barzell was exactly I was hoping for, 18 years old, four and a half stars, a uh, Gold Star. I will compare him with uh, this goalie prospect and another. Prospect Pylon, yeah, 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 Pylon. We will look at him. Let's see. We grabbed a lot of prospects. Gardner turns out he's a great pick. Bailey, great pick. Karstilov, great pick. Valentine, well, might be something good. Cox, well, he is kind of a disappointment. Only three and a half stars, but yeah, he has a green potential, so maybe he will def definitely grow to like you know 82, 83 overall and. He will be a good top six defender for us for many years to come. Valentini, yeah, a lot of three and a half per, uh, prospects. Yeah, basically all the prospects that we've got uh, turned out good. Uh, Jace cover no, 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 we did not draft him. No, I don't see anybody who's good. I mean, who's bad from our draft picks? Like none. Yeah, none of them are bad. Yeah, so it's a successful draft. Uh, goal is we have Saras who we might want to bring back for our 
AHL team. We have Ellis who will be our backup probably, so I want to bring him back. A lot of other guys we will probably release. Let's sort by overall. Coverle, he's still around. Yeah, maybe I will sign him. Crazy mirror. Uh, tell me, guys, who you think we should bring back for the next year and who we should release. Uh, okay, and what should be our strategy for the next year? What uh, should we do? Should we build like you know 80 overall team, or should we play our prospects? What do you think will be a, a best strategy for us? We we need to win, and we need to build a good team as well. And Whitney might I might want to bring him back. How much he wants? He probably will not want. want yeah, but Whitney might be a good player for us. He his potential is pretty decent, three and a half stars still, and he's 82 overall, and he's a uh, Playmaker, so yeah, he probably might uh, play for us. I know our strategy depends a lot uh, on who will be available on the free agent market, and we kind of can make assumptions about that. But well, anyway, we we have to make a decision. Well, first of all, let's uh, let's do it like that. We will go through all the teams to see who are the great prospects. Anaheim, Bobrovsky... I will not be doing it for too long, I will just show it to you, Strand. Only four and a half stars. I will comment. Milos. Milos was basically the same thing as um, Barzell. Four and a half uh, gold star. That's wonderful. Uh, Sprong. Yeah, he is a good player. I did not see him, but I would definitely grab him. He's a red potential, but but still, he usually turns out good in this game. I will go through all the teams uh, for skaters and then once again for goalies, because there were a lot of good goalies in the first round. Yeah, Not that much. Oh yeah, yeah, here is the pylon. 63 overall. Yeah, also a decent pick. Yeah, it turns out they all are pretty good. Uh, Milosh, Barzell, and uh, Pylon. Another good one, Oliver Kylington. Uh, Pro Pro Ivan Provorov. Okay. McDavid, yeah, he was the biggest piece. It's really, really unfortunate that we uh, haven't grabbed him. It makes me really sad. Okay, nobody else too good, really. Dobbin, Fabry, Yan was uh, four-star green potential. Shankarukas here. Oh, Burakovsky, yeah, I remember him from our uh, GM in the future series. He was fine for us. He was better than fine, actually. We definitely need to make another GM in the future series, and we will do it in the future. Now let's look at the goalies. Nothing too good. Goalie will be probably one of our priorities for the next year draft. Uh, Bowman... Alger is a good good goalie. Look at him. Alger. Uh, okay. Kaderet, another four and a half. Yeah, there were some good uh, goalies in this draft. And only four stars is kind of unlucky. You see, uh, Colorado grabbed two goalies. Yeah, maybe we should trade for one of them. By the way, tell me what you think. Maybe we should trade like prospect for prospect to get like one of those young young goalies before they actually get for example for booth maybe we should pick up uh our two both goalie draft picks and trade him for a goalies what do you think for booth for example because he will be perfect for us actually okay parent uh, nobody here why, why is it not sorted by potential fur yeah, and I kind of want to trade with uh, Colorado because they have those two 
two great prospects and it will be a problem they will release one, one of them probably when he will want some money and it will be bad so maybe we should kind of correct the balance Dawson Carter yeah another great goalie looks like maybe Pittsburgh uh, will have a success with him nobody here okay nobody here I know it's taking a lot of time and I'm sorry if it's annoying for you guys but I know some of you really want to see those potentials and it's really curious for you when you're playing your GM so I hope that you understand even if you don't enjoy this particular part of this episode yeah and this is Winnipeg Siddler another great goalie he was something like top 10 maybe yeah he was eighth beautiful beautiful some goalies and maybe we should trade for one of those prospects before they got any good just pick up those two and trade for one good or maybe pick up Moody and uh, I don't know somebody we have drafted this year and get good prospect tell me what you think and okay we need to stop simulating we really need to stop simulating like immediately you can see that on the free agent market there is not that much happening Huberto is basically the only player that I want to grab come on game stop simulating beautiful thank you and uh, we will be able to resign some of the guys that we we have also we probably will be able to build much better team that we had this year nothing like superb but pretty decent more than 21 wins uh, is a possibility maybe even like 35 maybe even well 40 maybe too much so yeah we will do it in the next episode i'm really happy with the draft that we've had i hope you liked it too please leave a like if you enjoyed uh, the draft and the episode tell me your suggestions subscribe if you still haven't follow me on twitter and i will see you in the next episode and i promise you it will happen sooner and thanks for watching